What's going on? Welcome back to another channel. A video on the channel, rather. We're we'll playing some green hybrid in to my most recent deck profile, the Jellymon. Getting it ready for BT10, but actually playing into my BT7 list. Starting off with the Jellymon, I'm going to put the arena down, and unfortunately going to whiff. In playing this a lot more often, I've definitely found that the green matchup is one that this deck does kind of struggle with, especially the hybrids. Not really being able to choke them to one and get away with it makes it very difficult to play into the JP. As you can see, Tentamon come down and raising. And as mentioned, JP coming down for three. It's definitely a fun deck, but can struggle a little bit with bricking. Especially if you're just not seeing your ideal towers. We're going to see the Beetlemon come over, checking for a hybrid. Despite being a relatively new player, the right player has done very, very well recently, has been definitely climbing up the internal work rankings as one of the stronger players. Definitely has been making this matchup very, very difficult. We're going to see Tusk the Jellymon come out, choke back to one, sitting at six. We'll have the Jellymon in sources, but we're not going to have jamming straight away. Coming in for one Cosmetic Kevitarymon, gonna suspend, but can't swing over it because they will trade, but just shows an example of how you can go up the chain even if you choke them to one. When it comes to the back-to-back -back choking, it really doesn't work out in our favor. We're gonna go into the Mega Kevitarymon for three, pass it back over to me, set up a Jellymon and uh, test the Jellymon will be getting ready. If we've got the jamming promo Kyoshiro, which we do not, we'll be able to start swinging for two checks, but instead we're just going to have the jamming stack, and we're going to go into Imperial Dramon for four. Didn't go hyper-aggressive because I was aware of the possibility of going into that level six, so keeping both of them standing, going to bring out the Tusk Jellymon, goes up Tentamon in the back. Considering the list doesn't play all that many rookies, I think Actually, no, I think it's about 10 rookies. You'll see the list at the end of the video. It does it into rookies quite often, but even then when you're not hitting into the JP quite consistently. For some reason, he's very rarely cursed with uh, the green brick luck. Seems to be relatively consistent. I'm going to go into Ancient Beatamon for the full 5 cost, checking me back to 1. It doesn't mean anything that gets rested now is it going to be struggling. Still no jamming, and still no way of really getting around this board. I'm just going to pass it over to one, go into the Caesar Mon, set up jamming for the next turn. I've actually seen his hand, the Thunder Laser. I haven't really been particularly aggressive. Thunder Laser, going to suspend, swings over it. Uh, and we're going to do the piercing check first for the XV Mon, trashes a Startling Thunder, and the second v -mon. Starting Thunder wouldn't have done too much, would have at least stopped the Tentomon from being able to get off an attack. No Tamer to bounce in the back either. And he's just bringing out what he wants to do. He's going to go Beetlemon for two, check me back to one. Well, I'm saying two in my memory, so... Swing in with the jamming. And kind of have to go aggro here. Considering going for that two cost. But just gonna swing without it, hit into a ground fang. So it is a good thing that I ended up not going for it. It's just gonna bounce the Caesar Mon to the bottom of the deck, which works out for me, because then can trash two to restand. At least keep the test of Jelly Mon safe. Gonna swing in again anyway, just try and get some aggression. Thunder Laser comes out, adds itself to the hand. So we know that even if it did stay safe, a Thunder Laser could have come down anyway. Digivolve for three in the back, not much that can be done. Uh, swing and Tesla Jellymon, trash two, and then swing for game. So game one going pretty rough for Jellymon. It is just kind of how it is. Kyoshiro for three. But one thing we're gonna learn is the right player definitely is very, very comfortable just punishing you for going to three. Some decks, obviously, you know, going to three very common when you've got that memory table down, but he's just going to drop 
a level 6 for 13, put me straight to 10, and bet that I don't have a way of answering it, and he would be correct. No level 4 in hand, so we're just going to go straight back with an all force of our own. I actually should have put him, yeah, put him at 13. So back to 3, and now the answer back, what are you going to do about it? And his response... Taking a look at those cars, figuring out what he wants to do. And he is just going to Giga Chad drop a 13 back in... At least the Simpson react really just was in my face, because this setup, surprisingly frustrating to deal with. Finally seeing the level 4, so we're going to go into XV, go up into Aero v Dramon as well, get the jamming. And keep that jamming for the turn. I'm going to go Parathemon, and this is another one where I feel like I should have been more aggressive anyway. The Ancient Troymon opponent's turn effect is going to stop me from being able to actually get too many attacks off whilst going wide. And by choosing to not swing, uh, it just means that you can just swing at security. So now the pressure is on. I've got two 13k Digimon that I don't have a means of answering. I've played my All Force already, and he's just going to put a JP down to pass turn. We've gone four wide, but the Ancient Troymon is going to rest two of them. So I'm going to swing with Jamming. Draw two, get the Kyoshiro draw off the Jellymon and the Jamming draw. Then uh, Ancient Troymon, suspend two. And annoyingly, because the Jellymon is suspended, I can't even digivolve over it as an XP Mon, get the tap in order to get the Jamming, restand all force. So instead, we just leave it. And he's got plenty of targets to swing over now, so the Ancient Beetlemon's going to trash one. So yeah, swings over, trash is one, it was the starting thunder, would have bounced the JP at least, but nothing about that, swings in. And he's got plenty of options, gonna go for the one cost, Digivolve into Beetlemon, get the, I think he actually missed his draw, but gonna whiff the search, swings in, doesn't matter at all. And he's just gonna put down another JP, there's nothing I can do here. Can't answer the board, would have to answer three of them in one go, this deck should just not have the removal for that. And we'll go plug in two to at least swing for two checks, but really just a futile effort. The level six Zoostrat, always keeping it in the back pocket, he's done it frequently, not just to me but to other people, just gotta be careful setting this deck to three and that is going to be a clean 2-0. I know not the best showcase of the Jellymon deck since it's the first time it's been on the channel, but There'll be plenty more Jellymon games coming uh, in future matchups. I'm 3 and 10 as of today, the time of recording the VO for this. Still figuring it out. Here's a Jellymon list with the full profile breakdown in the cards. And here is the green hybrid list, mostly the same as BT7. That's four Thunder Lasers under the glare. And potentially some edits to this one in future but for now that's going to be all from me hope you guys enjoyed the short little video and we'll see you in the next one